We have these new features called Ripple Move, Ripple Insert, and Ripple Trim. What does that mean, these Ripple items? Well, with Ripple, instead of having space in between things, Ripple will make sure that space is eliminated. So for example, if I had a clip and I wanted to take out part of it, if I just deleted some part in the middle, it would leave a gap. But I can do a Ripple Delete and that gap gets filled. So we'll use this concept of rippling to try these three new things inside Camtasia 2020. They work best with magnetic tracks. So we'll start with turning on magnetism. To turn on the magnetic tracks, all we need to do is click the magnet icon for that track. And when we do, we see all the space that was normally there in between these tracks or in between this media is now consumed. Same thing for this track, I'll click it. And now there's no space. In fact, if I try to drag this out, I can't do it. Now, a ripple insert lets me grab something and pull it in here, and I see it up here, and I just wanna put it in between. Can I sneak that in? Sure can. So this ripple insert lets me move a track inside or in between two other clips. A ripple move lets me take this item, pull it out, and put it in somewhere else. So I can put it earlier in my track. Or I can take it out of this track and put it at the beginning of another track. And lastly, Ripple Trim lets us shorten the duration of a clip and still not leave any gaps in time. So if I shorten this and I make this a shorter clip here, I see that everything follows with it because magnetism is turned on. Similarly, it doesn't have to be the end of a clip. I can grab the beginning of this clip and make it shorter. And notice as I shorten the beginning of that clip, it still consumes all that extra space so there's no gap left.